Today we profile Florine Mark. Love, love, love. Every time she ever sent anybody, whether it was the President of the United States of America, the President of General Motors, or just a friend, a letter, she would always sign it, love, 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 Florine. She grew up in a very small house in Detroit with 13 extended family members. One bathroom. Beginning at age 11, she lost 50 pounds nine times. Her friends called her Fat Flo. By the time she was 18 years old, she had a child and was already divorced. A few years later, she went to New York City for one-week intervals for four months to learn about this new concept called Weight Watchers, and it transformed her life. In 1966, the founder of Weight Watchers, Jen Nidich, suggested Florine bring Weight Watchers to Detroit. The first Weight Watchers meeting had 30 people, most of which were only family members. She was petrified when she stood in front of them. And then she told herself, Florine, do this. She eventually was the president and CEO of the largest franchise holder of Weight Watchers International. It was in 14 states in three countries. She was a pioneer as a female executive. She hosted a TV show entitled Ask Florine and a radio show entitled Remarkable Women. She's the author of Talk in the Mirror. She raised seven children, sat on 34 boards, and served a six-year stint as a board member of the Detroit branch of the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago. She always led with her heart and championed countless charities and causes she believed in. A few quotes. Jack, the essence of Weight Watchers is self-respect. I am very lucky, but I work very hard at being lucky. Every morning I say, in with the good, out with the bad. She was unbelievable. Everybody loved her. She wrote me her philosophy of life. Jack, as you know, because I've written to you to thank you for the many things that you have done to make life better for everyone, and all the charity work that you do, I always end my letters and notes with love, love, love. Three loves. This is my philosophy of life. It's very important to me that we spread love around, that we love people and try to understand their differences and learn to forgive and forget what we don't like about them. And in spite of things that maybe we don't like or find that are different about us, that if we have this love in our hearts, love on our lips, and love in our minds, those are the three loves. That this world will be a better place to live in. Peace is so important in this world. And by loving more instead of hating more and understanding more, we will hopefully and eventually have peace. Again, thank you so much for inviting me to write in your book on the philosophies of life. We must be good to ourselves and we must be good to all of those around us with love in our hearts, love on our lips, love in our minds. Florine Mark. That's the story of Florine Mark. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, please remember with God, anything is possible. Spoken.